terminology of probability. Now we're going to talk about the sample space and the sample space represents all the possible outcomes. So for example, if we roll a dice, all the possible outcomes we can get are the numbers one, two, three, four, five, or six. This is the sample space that you get when you're rolling a dice. Now when we write it down, we like to write them in curly brackets like so, and write S equals saying that the sample space is these numbers. So in example two, Jane tries to guess the month of Jim's birth, list the sample space. So all, all the months that he would guess would be January, February, March, April, I'm starting to get a bit lazy, May, June, July, and so on. Let's get them all down, August, September, October, November, December. Now, I wouldn't advise doing it with just the first letter because then, for instance, June and July look like the same thing. But anyway, just to save a bit of time, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, question B says, how many elements are in the sample space? And, and that just means count the number of elements. So January is an element, February is an element. And because it's 12 months in the year, we have 12 elements in the sample space. 